my name's Mike Svab, and uh, I live in Surrey, British Columbia, close to White Rock, British Columbia. I was one of those kids who grew up in the bush, kind of. You know, my mom would, in those days, they'd put us out in the morning and we wouldn't get back until dark. And so I lived out in the country, and this is in eastern Canada and Ontario. And uh, so we played in the forest. That was our whole lives when we were young. All, except when we were in school, of course, which we tried to go to as much as possible. I was called by Mark, and I guess he was just thinking about getting this going, and uh, I immediately said yes, and uh, to come up here on this excursion. And uh, as soon as I hung up, I thought, oh crap, <laughs> I have lots of people in Alberta who buy my art, and uh, oil executives and people like that, and I thought, Oh, you know, is it the right thing to do? Um, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to bite your hand, so to speak. So, I did as I called a couple of people who are actually in the business, and they said, you know, you should go. It's the right thing to do. And uh, so that was, you know, that was enough to tip me over. I'd already said yes, but that was enough to push me to say that it is the right thing to do. And uh, for that reason, I'm here with my artwork. Um, I try to convey a sense of you know what I like about where I am and in this case you know it, it's up here in the Great Bear Rainforest and I try to get across what is special about a place like this to me and I do you know I do change it a little bit or distill it or simplify it or whatever you want to call it but I try to get that through in my art and when you're an artist you're lucky if some people identify with the way you perceive things with the way you communicate and I've been lucky some people do and so I've continued on as an artist that way and I have an audience that identifies with me and I'm happy. Art, it's, it's funny as an artist, like I started out in life doing many other things and became an artist later in life and I've kind of learned what it means to be an artist over a long period of time and uh, I've come to the understanding that artists determine the way we think and see the world and you know, if somebody would have said that to me when I was young, I'd say, you're nuts, you know. It's everything else. Everybody else does everything. And artists, look at them. They're all out there. They're all flakes. And I've come around to understand that artists are the ones who live on the edge of society, so to speak, and we're given the freedom to interpret and kind of think about really obscure things that nobody else is bothering with because it's kind of, you know, we're not forced into any little pigeonholes, and we come from all directions and go in all directions. So artists tend to lead... The thinking, you know, you think about the way it's portrayed in the media, you know, there's the jobs, you know, well, everybody needs a job. I don't want to lose my job. Nobody wants to lose their job. There's all the jobs on one end. You know, there's there's the, you know, the idea of all these people working on the pipeline and, and you know, the risk reward thing. And the risk as we go along, I think, gets greater and greater and greater because this is a special place. This place has never been built up. It's never been, you know, totally industrialized and populated. This is a, a place of wilderness and they're becoming very, very rare in the world and in Canada. The way it's going, there will be no places that you can go and see what the world was like before humans changed it all. And this is one of those special places. And the risk here, it, to me, it doesn't have to happen. Like, there's other ways to do this. There's other ways the oil can go. It doesn't have to come through here. You don't have to risk this. And it's, so it becomes expediency. Well, we can make more money if we go this way instead of that way. Well, maybe it's better to spend a little money, more money, and go the other way. And then the people get their jobs. Maybe the people on the top don't make as much money. But so what? That's not what it's all about. And it's a decision for the people of Canada, the people of British Columbia, and the First Nations people, it's not a decision for oil executives sitting up somewhere. It's a decision for everybody, because this is what we're risking. We're risking all this, and that shouldn't be up to a couple of pointy heads or executives sitting up in some office. It should be for all of us. So hopefully this helps, you know, create awareness of that.